the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, it is now 6.45. We do have those two breaking news scenes that we're showing you here, but I'll tell you as you're waking up and about to hit the roadways to start your Friday morning, it is frigid this morning. We've had some light snow, some light flurries around. Can't roll out a patch or two of black ice, but we are not seeing that widespread. Most of the roadways are dry. Our crews have been driving all morning long and not one of them has found any icy conditions. So that's good news. Can't say that there's not one or two, so just use caution. Of course, we'll keep you updated on both of these scenes. The winds are howling this morning. Let me show you the look currently of the temperatures. This is the feel like temperature. This is one of the reasons, of course, the main reason why Oklahoma City Public Schools virtual today. And of course, we're scrolling any closures or delays at the bottom of your screen. Minus two in Watonga, minus four in Weatherford. Four degrees is the wind chill in Byers after the 60s in sunshine yesterday. This is a slap in the face. This is the type of air when you step outside, it kind of takes your breath. Layer, 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 cover up your head, your neck, the scarf, the neck gaiter, the gloves, all the winter gear with the biggest that you got in Oklahoma. That's this is one of those days you need it, okay? Winds are anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour, and that wind will just cut through those layers over time. We have snow still flying this morning in eastern Oklahoma. Severe weather ongoing. Tornado warnings in eastern Arkansas with this storm. It's a very dynamic system. Blizzard ongoing north. And then the next cold front is already coming through the mountains. That arrives tonight and tomorrow morning. Temperatures drop through the day on Saturday. Here's how we're shaping up on Next Gen Live. You can see we've got a few flurries around some very light snow, not enough that it's caused any widespread problems. If we start to hear of a single slick spot, we will let you know and we'll really gear up in full force to bring you more coverage of the roads. But so far, things are sitting pretty. Snow continues off into eastern Oklahoma. That's where some more travel problems are. So let's talk the weekend. Today we get above freezing in Oklahoma City for a little bit. I'll show you that. But a cold blast moves in, especially through the day, and temperatures drop down into the teens by the afternoon. But we're dry Sunday feels below zero. Snow begins mid-morning, midday, closer to lunchtime. We'll see the beginning and stages of that, but you're going to wake up by daybreak and we're dry Sunday the way it looks. Sunday afternoon, snow takes over the state and roads start to get slick off and on snow Monday, Sunday into Monday, and the roads just get worse. Temperatures in the teens currently here are the winds, 20, 40 miles per hour right now. Wind chill anywhere from zero to two to five to eight degrees below an hour by hour today. 18 at nine, noon, 25. I've got the wind chill over here and that ripping north wind relaxes by this evening, comes around out of the south and will actually hover in the 30s for quite a while this evening before we dip back down below freezing. So highs today, only 29 in Ponca, 30 Stillwater, 36 OKC, 40s in the southwest. There goes the first storm and then the jet stream. You don't want to see the jet stream going from the pole down the plains and that's what's going to happen. That's pulling in the air from Siberia up over the poles and down into the United States. You never want that. Siberian air needs to stay there. That's not what's going to happen. And so when this blast begins, the next one, we will stay below freezing for days. Here's how we're shaping up on future next gen. A little bit of light snow possible into tomorrow in northern Oklahoma. Flurries and then the bulk of the snow arrives midday Sunday lasting into the afternoon into the evening Sunday night into early Monday and then it starts to move on out. I'll get you your statewide forecast. Here we go. Single digits in northern Oklahoma tonight as that blast moves in. 25 in Oklahoma City. You got things to do tomorrow morning. These are your feel like temperatures. 5 to 10 degrees below zero in the north Tomorrow afternoon, the air temp at about 3 o'clock. The air temperature, 13 OKC, 6 in Alva. And wind chills are going to be below zero all day Sunday. May get some flurries in northern Oklahoma Saturday. Sunday, wind chills below zero. We're talking 10 to 15 degrees below zero. And the snow moves in. A 100% chance. This storm is just off the west coast. Stay tuned to the forecast today, especially this afternoon and evening, as we fine-tune these totals. Because as the storm moves over land, the instrumentation is a lot greater. The grid is a lot higher. And we will really start to get more high-res data and be able to fine-tune these 
right now a broad brush three to six. It's a pretty big range. Some areas could see four to eight, depending on your location in southern Oklahoma, two to four. These totals will still shift around, but I would plan for a snowy mess by Sunday evening into Monday morning. Temperatures still below freezing until Wednesday afternoon, but a strong front arrives again Thursday of next week. So guys, today is one of the warmer days we will see, believe it or not, this afternoon. And we're back with much more on those breaking news scenes right after this.